Hey guys, let's take a look at fractional parts of a number. Um, for some reason, these kind of uh, little word problems give people fits. But if you have a method and you follow it and it works and you just keep doing it. I mean, even if you go, I don't understand what's going on here. Part of the Saxon method is to just allow you as a student to just go, okay, I'm copying the method. And, you know, I got the answer right, but now I don't get it. I mean, I don't, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. As much as you want to, you feel you need to, try to think about what's going on. But if you think, I just don't understand what's going on, that's okay. Months will go by of you doing these problems. You know how Saxon is. You do them over and over on these problem sets. After a while, a lot of times what happens is you go, oh, oh, I think I know what's going on here. And by the time you go, oh, okay, I think I understand this, okay? You're not worrying about, oh, well, I have to understand it perfectly before I do the problems right. No, you've been doing the problems right for weeks or months, getting them right and just going, Pfft. I don't get what's going on, okay? And uh, it's nice. It's a nice feeling just to be able to figure out, okay, now I see what's happening, okay? Well, you've seen stuff like this before, right? There's the whole thing. There's two-fifths of the whole thing, right? You divide it into fifths. You can divide it in any num number you want and find a fraction of it. There's another one. There's the whole thing. It's $150, let's say, all right? You babysat two bratty kids for an hour. Make 150 bucks. That's the standard homeschool rate, isn't it? Two really bratty kids. Okay, half of that money you can spend the night cold and they can go to sleep. Okay, two fifths times 150. In other words, whenever you see that word of, there's two fifths of that thing, two fifths of something, that means multiply, right? You need to make sure you get that down. The word of in math means multiply. Okay, so let's, if somebody said, oh, what's two fifths of that, you'd go two fifths times 150. See, then you can go like this. Put it over one, you could go, oh, 50, uh, five into 150. Well, five into 15 is three. So five into 150 is 30. That's just one. So two times 30 is 60. I got it, 60. Well, of course, that's the answer. Two thirties. There you go. Okay. Let's look at this. Look, just make sure you understand this. Half of 10 is five. How would you convert that into an equation? This is actually something I would recommend that you write down. This is helpful for you to do. So half of 10 is five. And again, please make sure that on your like your notebook paper, you know, you're going like this and going 48, and you so you can look back at these notes to teach you how to get this um, done if you forget how. Okay, half of 10 is five. You're going to go like this: half, half of means to multiply. Half of 10 is equals five. And that's all it is. And if you want to go like this and put it over one, fine. Half times 10, 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2. 10 on top divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. It makes total sense. That's all you have to remember to do all these fractional, blacksional, blacksional, you know, problems. That's it. You just keep doing it over and over and it'll work every single time. Watch this, okay? Let you do this part. If I say to you, 2 fifths of 150 is 60. Go ahead right now, pause it, and write that as, a, as a, an equation. Go ahead. Okay, well, let's just do it. Two-fifths, two-fifths. Of means to multiply. Of 150, 150, you can write over one if you want, is equals 60. There you go. And we just did it this a minute ago, remember that? Um, you know, we kind of canceled out. Even if you didn't cancel out, two times 150, 300. 300 divided by 5, well, 30 divided by 5 is 6. 300 divided by 5 is 60. Total sense. That is the key to doing fractional equations, all right? All right, you tell me. This is similar, right? So pause it for a second, and we'll do, we'll do this again. Pause it and copy this down right there. Okay, back. All we're going to do is write this as an equation. That's it. So 5 sevenths, 5 sevenths. Of what number? Of means to multiply. What number? I don't know. N? X? I don't know. I'll, do, I'll just use X. Is equals five halves. Five halves. That's it. Now I wouldn't write this little you know dot anymore. Let's just go ahead and do it the normal way. Five sevenths times X is five halves. Okay. And we know how to solve these, right? What do we do to get rid of the five sevenths at this point? What do you multiply both sides by to clear that stuff out by the reciprocal, right? So we multiply by seven fifths. 
And of course, you do it over here as well, right? There we go. So that just goes away. We know that. So we've got the X. Now this, you can go, okay, wait a second. Okay, that crosses out. And then seven on top. So okay, so X equals seven halves. There you go. Ten. That's all you need to do. Turn it into an equation. Use the old method of, of solving equations by you know, using the reciprocal. There you go. Try another one. Eight ninths of 12 is what number? So copy that part down. Then give yourself a second and then go ahead and convert that into an equation. Pause it. Okay. Well, let's take a look at it. Eight ninths, eight ninths of 12 times 12. You can write over one if you want. Is equals what number? X, N, whatever you want. Well, that's a piece of cake. X is already by itself, right? So all we got to do is just break this down. Let's break down 12 and 9. 3 goes into that 3 times. 3 goes into that 4 times. And then x is equal to 8 times 4 is 32. And then 3 times 1. There you go. You got it. Good. There you go. By the way, 8 ninths is like most of 12, right? 8 out of 9. 32 divided by 3, it's about 11. 11 is most of 12, right? So that's a completely sensible answer. Okay. All right. This is a little funky here. What fraction of 75 is 25? Anytime you see what fraction or what number or, you know, you can put X, right? So let's just do that together. What fraction? X. Of multiply 75, right? Is equals 25. And I'll leave it like that. X times 75, we're going to put 75X, right? That equals 25. Okay, and the last part is to do what? What do you divide both sides by? 75, right? Divide by 75, divide by 75, Boop. done, except for the x. 25 over 75 reduces to one third, and the answer is what fraction of 75 is 25? It's a third of 75, that's it. You probably even saw, oh yeah, 25 is a third of 75. Who cares? You got a method that proves that it works. Use your method, it'll work every time. Okay, try the practice problems on page 159. There's three of them. Pause it and try the first one. Okay, now this is, I, you might go, what in the world? I, I didn't get a fraction as an answer at all. Yeah, you did. Any number you write, you, what can you write under that number to get a fraction? One, right? So that's all you need to do. So what fraction? X of multiply 20 is equals 140. Okay, there you go. 20 times x, 20x. Equals 140, there you go. Well, the last thing you do is just divide by 20, right? Okay, done. x is equal to 140 divided by 20, which is 7. There you go. What fraction? It's 7, you know, 7 over 1. You can, whatever you want, spline. Okay, try the second one. Pause it and give that a shot. Okay, 7. I mean, don't try to be cute. Don't just use a method. You can be rote. You can just go left to right and go, oh, zombie world here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just caught. fine. Don't worry about it. You'll get it right. It'll come to you eventually. All right. Seven fifths, seven fifths of multiply. What number? I'm going to use N this time. Is equals three eighths. Three eighths. Okay. I got it. So 7 fifths times n is 3 eighths. Well, we know what to do now, right? We're going to have to get rid of that stupid 7 fifths, all right? So that's going to be 5 over 7. 5 over 7. There we go. Done. Got my n. Anything I can cancel out? No. 3 times 5 is 15. 8 times 7, 56. There you go. All there is to it. Okay. Try the last one. Give it a whirl. Pause it and try it. Okay, well, let's look at it. 5 thirteenths, 5 thirteenths of 26 times 26 is equals what number? X. All right, and you can do the same thing over here. Put a 1 over it. And if you notice, 26 and 13 are, well, 26 is a multiple of 13. So 13 times 2 is 26. So it's going to go 2 times. So 5 times 2 divided by 1, 10. There you go. Dollars to it. 
Memorize the method. Just go left to right and make an equation out of that thing. Don't worry about understanding it first. If you don't, get those problems right and eventually it will happen. So, all right, good luck today. See you guys next time.